The Texas Workforce Commission says Amarillo saw a decrease in unemployment rates from September to October. For News 7's Janice Yu has more information on how Amarillo's economy is doing. Janice? Lisa, numbers are showing that the economy here in Amarillo may be better off than in other parts of the country. Amarillo's unemployment rate is lower than the Texas and national average. According to the Texas Workforce Commission, the unemployment rate for Amarillo is the same now as it was a year ago. 744 more people are working this year and wages are up 5%. We see a, an unemployment rate in the Amarillo area of 4.4% for the month of October and that's the latest data we have available. Those compare to the lowest in the state at 3.1% in Midland, Odessa area, 3.6%. And on a statewide basis, it states about 6% unemployment rate. Amarillo's unemployment rate is almost 3% lower than the national rate of 7.3%. Certainly the diversity of our workforce and our industry base is part of that reason. Um, you're sure seeing a lot of activity that's gas and oil related in the area. Retail sales are up in general since last year, and this includes used car sales. I think it has a lot to do with the way that Amarillo and West Texas has not really been hit by the, uh, the economy change as much as the rest of the United States. Used car sales are up 55 percent since last year. The biggest reasons is, is that everybody needs a vehicle. You know, even if cars weren't, uh, weren't being pr produced anymore, we'd probably be selling bicycles. You know, somebody's got to have transportation. Other areas with large growth were transportation and utilities and leisure and hospitality. According to the Workforce Commission, there are usually more jobs this time of year. More businesses are hiring right now to fill the seasonal openings. Lisa, back to you. Janice, thank you. The Obama